Hi Cancers, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. This is going to be a love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus, Mars, and Mercury. Um, I pulled so many Romance Angel cards for you. Let's get right into your reading. Um, please feel free to thumbs up and check out the links below to support the channel. Get in contact with me for your own reading and to check out other Zodiac readings as well as pick a card readings as well. Okay, so there's so many cards that just came out for you. So let's see what we have for October, Libra and Scorpio's um, birthday month. Okay, beautiful. Um, soulmate, chemistry, playfulness, pay attention to the red flag, calling in your soulmate and you deserve love. Okay, so you definitely are dealing with somebody cancer that I feel you have a lot of love for. Now, the only stipulation there is that maybe you're not showing this person that you actually have a lot of feelings for them or um, they're not showing you a lot of attention. Okay. There is a strong magnetic attraction cancer. Okay, that that is like the first card I pulled. So um, regardless of what's going on right now, there is definitely, if not more than one person um, who has feelings for you. Okay, I think that there's more than one person. Now, of course, take what applies if you're married, you know, do what you want with this information. But um, if this resonates with you, the watcher. I do feel like somebody has more than one person has strong feelings for you. Okay. Um, you deserve love. You are lovable. The signs are cautioning you. So what is this caution about? The signs are cautioning you to do what cancer? What are the signs cautioning you to do? What are the signs cautioning you to do? physical outlet authority stand up for yourself okay spirit is saying that you need to stand up for yourself okay that's why these cards are here you got to stand up for yourself okay um perhaps you need to go nature you need to be in nature more maybe you've been um neglecting self-care cancer maybe you've been like working out a lot or i'm hearing workaholic or just really busy um, it seems like water signs are really, really busy this month. I mean, of course, it is Scorpio's birthday as well, um, birthday season as well. So um, it wouldn't be surprising if you have any Scorpio friends or you're dealing with a Scorpio. You know, this is a very, very, um, you know, serious time. So we have two of wands, the hangman, the emperor. Okay, this definitely could be twin flame or soulmate. The emperor is my divine masculine card. Okay, with a chariot, that's your card, Cancer. Uh, Knight of uh, Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, okay? Wow, some strong energy here, okay? Juggling, busy, like I said, okay, you are this person or both of you are really busy. So uh, try not to get impatient, Cancer, um, if you're waiting to hear from this person. Um, try not to, you know, I just want to say try not to get impatient with love when it comes to love this month. Um you know, seven of cups, two of pentacles. Yeah. Whoa. Ten of swords, cancer, ten of swords and the page of wands. Wow. Okay. So this could speak to disappointment or, um, confusion. Uh, wow. The ten of swords. Well, let's get a clarifier for the ten of swords. <clears throat> Ace of pentacles. temperance balance the need for balance and moderation yeah oh my god cancer wait for perfect timing the card says wait for perfect timing okay so with the hangman and the wait for perfect timing with the balance card it's very clear to me that somebody here wants to move forward but something is holding them back now this could be a third party okay this could be third party influence does not have to be romantic but it could be that work or an enemy someone gossiping 
I feel like someone's gossiping. I'm not sure if this is what you're doing about this person or this person's gossiping about you with a Ten of Swords. Okay, for those who can resonate with this message, I'm going to say right here, this could even be like social media war, having problems on social media with this person, like maybe this person was cheating, you caught them cheating, or this person blocked you, you know, grimy stuff like this person trying to use tricks and flips to get you upset cancer. Okay. Um, let's pull three more with this deck over here. Let's pull through with this deck over here. <clears throat> Seven of sore. Oh, shit. Three of cups. Whoo. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Cancer. I said, let me, I said, let me pull three more cards. Let me pull three more cards and see what's going on. <laughs> uh. Cancer. Okay. This person is a player. Okay. Someone here is just not in it to win it. You know, somebody here is just not being genuine is what I want to say. Okay. There's something not genuine about this person. I'm actually seeing all signs. Okay. This could be actually any sign. I'm not just getting water. I'm not just getting earth. I'm not just getting fire. This could be literally any sign. You could be married to this person. You could not be married to this person. Doesn't, doesn't, you know, it could be anything really with the hangman. Let me get a clarifier for the hangman. Oh, yes, yes. Four. Of, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cancer. Four. Oh, nothing will come of the situation. OK, Scorpio had the same card as well. Scorpio also had this card. So um, like I've been saying with Libra and now I'm going to say with your sign, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, check out that reading. OK, um, four swords, four of cups, lots of Scorpio. Wow. Four of Swords, Four of Cups. Oh my God. With a Temperance, Sagittarius, Eight of Wands, Three of Wands. Okay. Something's gone wrong here. Okay. Something, something's gone wrong. And I feel like there could be those of you where you're dealing with a person who is hiding away, you know, in the shadows. Like you're dealing with somebody who's hiding away from the truth, you know, doesn't want to face reality. Um, three of wands, you know, with the emperor, like the emperor is a very stubborn energy. It's a very forthright energy. So this, this could be energy of somebody you're dealing with, whether it's love or not, regardless who just doesn't want to face you, doesn't want to talk to you. Um, playing hard to get as well as what I get, like this person could be playing hard to get cancer. Um, there's definitely some kind of harsh truth or something really crazy happened hopefully not i hope that that's not true but um with the ten of swords it's kind of hard to ignore it you know it's really hard cancer to ignore the ten of swords okay so something something clearly happened here okay something really took a sharp turn okay for the worst um oh man wow well, I just want to say, you know, whatever comes to your mind when you see this card is what I want you to focus on. You know, nothing will come of a situation. So what does that mean for you, Cancer? Like, does it mean that this person is not going to change? Does it mean this person is not wanting to apologize? Like, what exactly is this person giving you? Is what I want to say with the Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Yeah. So this person is this feels very grimy. Okay. Like a very grimy energy. Um, you know, I, I don't say this lightly. There could be, there could be a karmic and a soulmate. You know what I'm saying? It could be a situation where there's third party, like there is romantic third party getting in the way, you know, playfulness. Yeah. This person could be immature. You know, this person could be imma immature. Cancer is what I feel to be honest with you. Um, you know, if I was talking to you in person and you're feeling like this, Ten of Swords, I would say to you to avoid this person, but I don't want a blanket statement. Everybody's scenario. You see what I'm saying? But um, if, if this person you think is not budging and not apologizing, not owning up to the crap they've done, then I would definitely say walk away. Okay. Somebody here has options. Somebody is preoccupied. Okay. This card is typically 
said as juggling, but not really. It's just more so about the person putting their attention in one direction and abandoning the other. That's more so what the two of pentacles means, regardless of the typical meaning. It's, it's just more so about a person who could have their hands full, you know, they, they got a lot going on and they're not really committed. Um, we have your own card cancer right there. Okay, let's do another spread and see um, what's coming up in the future. What's the outcome? Coming up in the future, what's the outcome? Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Falling in love. Okay, make time for those around you. Skilled work, penmanship, going back to school. Okay. Interesting. So I feel like in the future, there's going to be like a turn to be, oh my God, the devil. I feel like in the future, there's going to be a turn of events. Yeah, you have to defend yourself against another water sign for those who are the water sign or an earth sign. Yeah, you're having to defend yourself, Cancer. Look at that combo right there. You're having to defend yourself over and over and over again. Very frustrating energy indeed, Cancer. Very frustrating indeed, okay? with the devil could also be Capricorn could be a Libra energy queen of swords a Libra Gemini Aquarius doesn't have to be with the four of pentacles yeah someone's being selfish okay someone's holding themselves back why is this person holding themselves back or why are you holding yourself back who who's holding themselves back here what what's con, uh, contemplate emotional romantic enthusiastic okay what's going on here creative warm sensible I feel like you have bigger fish to fry. Okay, this is somebody, this is this is an ex. This is a toxic ex, or this is an ex who's selfish, okay? Yes, they're keeping you up at night, Cancer. This person's keeping you up at night. You need to escape this. I Like I said earlier, if this was me talking to you in person as a friend, I would say leave this person alone. They're holding themselves back from you. They're being selfish. They're, they're, they're being very manipulative and cold. Someone here is being very cold, okay? But with the Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, you have better things to focus on, Cancer. Just, just remember that in the back of your head. You have better things to focus on, okay? This person's on everything. Six of Cups. This could be an ex coming back, and they're just trouble, okay? They, they, they want trouble. Oh, funny enough, Spirit reminded me. I was looking at other Cancer readings, and I saw someone... I, I was I see I saw this card in other readers too. Oh my god, now I have the card in your own reading. So now on my channel I have this card as well for you, Cancer. Wow, that's crazy. So the devil, the devil card is coming up in a lot of your readings. So yeah, this is somebody from the past who is manipulative, you know, like straight up cancer. So whatever you want to do with this information is up to you. Let's get some advice. What is the advice? Wow, this person's very manipulative. I feel spirits tell me to tell you this person could be very attractive. Maybe like the attraction is at an all time high. Maybe this person looks fucking banging. This person looks better than ever. But this person's a goddamn devil. Okay, this person looks good, smells good, right? Tastes good, but they're the devil, cancer. And this person got you on, on guard. This person got you feeling, <laughs> feeling confused. This is what a devil does. That's what a devil does, Cancer. A devil steals joy, steals, you know, a, the devil is about confusion, temptation, okay, manipulation. That is the devil. So don't expect to, to romp with the devil, you know, and not have anxiety, not have, you know, um, sadness. You see what I'm saying? Just to be blunt with you, Cancer. So um, if you're going to be dancing with the devil, you know, make sure that you can you can back it up, you can handle it, okay? Because this person, I think here at one point, you know, the, the crazy part about it, Cancer, is at one point, at one point, this person did want you, this person did want to be with you, and they still could, but they haven't, they haven't opened their heart up to you just yet, four pentacles, okay? For majority of you, I feel this person's wearing a false mask, this person hasn't opened up completely to you, and they're leaving you feeling confused, abused, and uh, mistreated, and I don't like that, okay? So this person is wishy-washy at best i feel like they, they they could offer you sex they could offer you having drinks over dinner but um don't expect nothing like don't expect nothing solid cancer um let's get the advice i i just want to give you a little warning like don't expect nothing 
positive or pure from this person. This person could be a could be sexually addicting, addictive. This person also could have sexual addictions. This person could be a drinker. This person could be using drugs. Not that those things make someone a bad person. It's just this person uses those things to one up other people, and and they they're not responsible for their behavior with you. They're not they're not taking responsibility or accountability. This is something from the past. Okay. This is a person from the past. Okay, what is the advice with the devil card, six of cups, four of pentacles, queen of wands, queen of swords, ten of pentacles, and nine of swords? What is the advice for cancers, please? Who, this is their message and they want advice. What is the advice, please? What is the advice, please, spirit? What is the advice? Yes, time to take action. It's time to make a choice, Cancer, and, and get out of this if you want to. If you want to. Yes, release negativity, okay? The answers you need are coming. The answers you seek are coming. Communication could be coming through as well with the Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Leo, Aquarius, Sagittarius. I do see a lot of communication coming through here. Um, there's going to be end of a tough cycle. And you need to release negativity. So if negativity is this person, the devil, then by all means, okay? Love you, Cancers. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and thumbs up. It lets me know that you appreciate my time and you got the message you need. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye.